Welcome to episode 4 of Modern JavaScript. Today we are going to talk about types conversion. To remind you, my setup, I have uh, Visual Studio Code, I created the package.json with this content, scripts, start, nodemon-x, cls, node, index, is to run the index file, the javascript file, type npm start, and I can see all the console log from the index.js file. There is a keyword type of in javascript that can tell what is the type of specific variable. For example, console.log, if I print here a string, this is a text, I will see here, this is a text, I will see here on the terminal, this is a text. Now, if I type type of, I'm telling JavaScript to say, okay, what is the type of this? And JavaScript will tell me is a string. So this is exactly a string. If I put in a variable, let p equals, if I do type of p, it tells me that is a string. If I sign p to a number, it will tell me that is really a number. If I put true and infinity is a number. Let's try null is an object. We will see objects later on. So type of is a keyword to tell me what is the type of a specific variable of a specific value. We have this string. Everything we pass here, we convert to a string. For example, p is a null, null converts to null, but if I add here 20, converts to 20, and if I do type of, okay, that 20 is exactly as a string representation, it's not a number. If I put true, it will convert as true, but this is a string. We can do type of, it represents a string. So this true is exactly a string representation. If I do plus hello, with a string, I need to put string here, remove the type of, if I put string true plus hello, two strings, a string with a word true together with the hello. So this is the way we convert any type to string. But numbers is a bit special. For example, I will divide six by two. I'm dividing two strings under the hood, convert to a number and tell me the result because six string divided by two strings, you are trying to divide two strings, but JavaScript will understand that this thing contains only numbers and the second one contains numbers, we'll convert both of them to a number and provide the result that is a three. If I put hello, not a number. So it doesn't understand, it will understand this is a number, this is not a number, so it will not do the operation. On numbers, I can do multiply as well. We'll convert both strings into a number and multiply to give the result, but two strings with plus will not convert the operands into a number. We'll keep them as a string and we'll concatenate the two strings. So six is two. This is not a mathematical operation, it's not six plus two, eight, but it's a concatenation of those strings. So plus doesn't convert the strings to a number automatically. If the strings are only number, only divide, multiply and minus. Minus will convert to a number. If I start putting a string, you will not understand and will not convert. Pay attention, if you have two strings, both of them are numbers, only with minus, multiply and divide, you can convert both strings to numbers, but the plus will concatenate the two strings. If I put number and pass a string, this will be a number. This thing will be converted forcefully to a number. If I do type of, I will understand that this is a number. It will return not a number because number method expects to receive a string that contains numbers inside, not letters. He will not convert and return not a number. Null converting to a number becomes zero. Undefined becomes not a number. True boolean representation of a number is one. False is zero. Last, we have boolean conversion. I, we use the keyword boolean, okay? Type of boolean is always boolean. If I convert number one to boolean will become true. Like true, I convert to a number becomes one. The same thing as false i convert to a number becomes zero a zero number converting to a boolean becomes false then any string converting to a boolean is true except for the empty string that is always false even zero string is true an empty string is false anything else that is not empty 
is a true but if i add a space to the string it becomes true because this is not anymore empty a space character is part of the string is a space and a space converting to a boolean is true that's all about this episode on the next episode we're going to see basic operators 